today we're going to look at dividing decimals all the way to the hundredths place. So we're not just going to leave a remainder as a whole number, instead we're going to keep dividing. So I'm going to start the way I always do, with just my regular division. 7 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract. Bring down to 3. 13 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times 7 is 7. I have a 6 left over. Now normally I would just write remainder 6. But now that we're in 6th grade, we're going to learn to divide further. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a decimal here and two zeros. So now my number, my dividend goes to the hundredths place. My answer will also go to the hundredths place. Now I already know I have tens, ones, but I need to add a decimal right here. Notice they go in a straight line. I don't even have to think about the decimal after that. It's just going to help me with my place value. Now I can just bring down the zero and keep dividing. 60 divided by 7 is 8. 8 times 7 is 56. 40 divided by 7 is 5. 5 times 7 is 35. And even though I have a 5 left over, that 5 is so tiny, it's only worth five hundredths, we're not even going to think about it or write, um, write anything for it. If I want it, I can keep on adding more zeros and keep on dividing and make this a 50 and keep going, keep going, keep going. But sometimes with some numbers, they're never going to stop and it's not useful. For our purposes, we're just going to stop here at the hundredths place. So you always have to remember when you're dividing, and I'll give another example. If you find that you cannot divide anymore, you're going to add a decimal and two zeros. That way, you can continue to have numbers to divide. Seven goes into 20 two times. Six bring down to zero. Seven goes into 60 eight times, 56. And again, I can just stop when I have an answer in the hundreds place. 2,800, so I'm just gonna stop right there. Do not, just leave this alone. Don't add it to your answer. Leave it just like that for today.